students how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home today we will study mathematics standard 4 in the previous video we have completed up to page number 42 today we will see page number 43 question number 18 see all of them started to return ahmedabad at 5 o'clock in the evening see time 5 o'clock in the evening and they all of them started to return return ahmedabad at 5 o'clock see in the evening at what time will the bus reach ahmedabad if it does not stop anywhere in the previous sum see previously we have seen that if but bus does not stop anywhere it will take 6 hours to go from ahmedabad to mount abu it means it takes how many times 6 hours it takes 6 hours and does not stop anywhere okay so we understood that it takes how many how much time 6 hours 6 hours and does not stop anywhere if does not stop anywhere then it takes 6 hours and here uh, they started to return at 5 o'clock in the evening okay so we have to we need one clock here see here they started to return at 5 o'clock okay and it takes 6 hours so this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 and 41 okay now see see here it's a 11 okay it's a 11 more than 11 o'clock or less than okay uh, it means in between 11 and 12 now see we will see the option before 11 o'clock in the night it's not it's not necessary that the before 11 o'clock they reach why because here 11 o'clock we it's a need okay now see b between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock in the night so this one is the right one between 11 o'clock and 12 12 o'clock in the night after 12 o'clock in the night it's a wrong so your answer is between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock in the night now we will see the next sum if the cost of this tree is rupees 2500 for the children of one bus okay and if there are 50 children in the bus then what is the cost of travel for each child see here the total cost they have given okay for how many children 50 children and they asks what is the cost of travel of each child previous also i have tell you that whenever they give the total cost or and and the total numbers of children or whatever and they ask from the in between that for each for each you have to find out for each at that time you have to do divisions okay so see here what is the cost of travel for each child now you have to write down here cost of trip is rupees 2500 and there are there are 50 children in the bus now we have to find
कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच चाइल्ड ओके सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बाय फिफ्टी ओके सो हियर डू द डिविजन टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड divided by 50 now 50 fives are how many 5 fives are 25 so 50 fives are 250 and 25 fives are 250 25 fives are 250 okay 0 minus 0 0 5 minus 5 0 2 minus 2 0 now this zero comes down 50 uh, zeros are zero so your answer is Fifty. What is the cost of travel for each child? So your answer is the cost of each child is rupees fifty. Now see, test yourself. It means you have to do, but I, I here help you. Okay. Choose the correct alternative for each questions and write its order alphabet in the box. Choose the correct options are there. Here options are given. Now see first one. Which pair of numbers add up to make thousands? Okay. First of all, see which numbers are given. A, three hundred and fifty six and five hundred and fifty forty four. B. Three hundred and sixty-four and six hundred and thirty-four. C. Nine hundred and one and ninety-nine. D. Four hundred and forty-five and five hundred and fifty-four. Now we have to see additions. Okay, add up. See first one. Three hundred and fifty-six plus five hundred and forty-four. Addition is answer nine hundred. It means this is not the answer. Now B. Three hundred and sixty-four plus six hundred and thirty-four. Answer is nine hundred and ninety-eight. It's also wrong. Wrong. Now C nine hundred and one and plus ninety-nine. So thousand. So this C is a right one. And C fourth one, fourth option D four hundred and forty-five plus five hundred and fifty-four. Ah, answer is nine hundred and ninety-nine. So here, here, which one gives the Thousand. This C nine hundred and one plus ninety nine. We get thousand. So add up to make thousand. So your answer C. Okay. Here your answer is C. Now see the second one. The age of four paintings are given. Four paintings ages are given. Okay. Which is the oldest? That you have to give the answers. See first one. A one thousand five hundred years old. B five thousand hundred years old. C one thousand fifty years old. D five thousand ten years old. Which one is the greater number? This five thousand hundred. It means this five thousand hundred years old. Okay, so your answer is B. This one is the oldest. Okay, now see the third one. A mini bus needs fifty liters of diesel. A mini bus means one bus. Okay, a means one. One bus may how much liters needs fifty liters for refilling four mini buses. We need how much of diesels? So fifty multiply by this four. Fifty multiply by four. How much? See, five fours are twenty, and fifty multiply by four, one zero more. So this two hundred. Fifty multiply by four, two hundred. So your answer is two hundred liter. Option is C. Okay. Now see the fourth one. If a car takes eight minutes, a car takes. A means one. It takes eight minutes, and a bike, a bike means one bike takes four minutes. 
to refill the tank. How much total time is needed for refilling two cars and three bikes? Here it's a given for one car and one bikes and they ask for two cars and three bikes. See here, they ask for two cars no and car takes eight minutes. So two times eight, eight plus eight, 16 and three bikes. Okay. Three bikes takes four minutes. So four plus four plus four, three times. It's a 12. Now 16 plus 12 is equal to 28. Okay. And they ask about how much time. So 28 minutes. So which options comes? This one. 28 minutes. It's a D. Okay. Write down here D. Now see if the length of one bus is 5 meter. See one bus length 5 meter. And this bus crossed a bridge of length 600 meter. How many number of buses one behind the other can stand in a line on this bridge? This type of sums already we have seen in the previous video. Here also we need a rough work. See here. One bus is 5 meter and the bus crossed a bridge of length 600 meter and they ask about number of buses. How many number of buses one behind the other can stand? So this total total length of the bridge is given and one bus uh, length is given. So we have to divide it here. 600 divided by 5. Now see here 5 is smaller than the 6. Okay. First of all, we have to take one digit. So, 5 ones are 5. 6 minus 5, 1. Now, this 0 comes down. 5 twos are 10. Okay. So, 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Now, this 0, the remaining 0 comes down. 5 zeros are 0. Okay. 0 minus 0, 0. So, your answer is 120. Now, see. In which options is a 120? This one B. So your option B is a right. So write down here B. Now turn your page, page number 44. Let's do homework. Vyasa to aapko ye homework mein karna hai. But I will help you. See, first one, answer the following questions. First one, how many meter, how many 7 meters long buses can stand in a line on a 350 meters long bridge? In the previous sums, choose the correct option. Last one we have seen similar way. This here also you have to do the sum. See here, here we have to divide 350 is given? No, 350 by 7. So let's do the division. 350 divided by 7. Now, 3 is a, uh, smaller than the 7. So, we take 2 digits. So, 7, 5 is 35. 5 minus 5, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. Now, this remaining comes down. Okay. 0, 7, 0 is 0. So, your answer is 50. Okay. Here, 50 buses can stand in a line on a 350 meters long bridge. They ask now how many 7 meters long buses? So 50 buses can stand in a line on a 350 meters long bridge. See here second one. How many 35 meters long aeroplanes can stand in a line on 175 meters long runway? This sum is also similar to the first one. So you have to do in the homework. Now third one. One bus can carry 60 passengers. If if the bus has 12 rows of a uh, of seats. Then how many seats are there in one row? Here also you have to do the division. Okay. So this sums also you have to do in the homework. Now see the fourth one. If Nikhil fills one liter petrol in a bike, how much one liter petrol in a bike? 
then he can travel 44 kilometer see here 1 liter may how much he can travel 44 kilometer if he fills 8 liters of petrol then how many kilometers can he travel so what we have to do here first of all you have to understood that in 1 liter he can travel 44 kilometer then in 8 liters how much kilometers he can travel so if in 1 liter petrol a bike travel 44 kilometer then therefore if in 8 liter petrol a bike travel how much kilometer so 8 multiplied by this 44 cross multiplication 8 multiplied by 44 upon this remaining 1 8 multiplied by 44 is equal to the, this you have to do in the rough work some of the students write the answers directly okay but you don't have to write the answers directly you have to do multiplications in the rough work 8 multiplied by 44 is equal to 352 kilometer so what they ask then how many kilometers can he travel he can travel 352 kilometer now see the fifth one santi bhai fills 20 liters diesel in his car how much 20 liters in his car if the cost of the diesel is rupees 65 it means here you have to understood that the price cost of 1 liter is equal to 65 huh? and they fills 20 liters then how much money should he pay cost of 1 liter diesel is equal to rupees 65 therefore cost of 20 liter diesel is equal to how much 20 multiplied by 65 cross multiplications upon 1 20 multiplied by 65 is equal to 1300 now how much money should he pay therefore your answer is he should pay rupees 1300 now see the page number 45 see the sixth one each child is distributed equally with one biscuit one chocolate and one apple it means here each child get how much one apple one biscuit uh, and one chocolate means total three items okay here each child is distributed by three items and total items are if the total items are 240 and the total items are how much 240 then how then among how many children's are the item distributed okay here we have to divide this 240 by 3 to find the number of children they ask the number of children how many children are the items distributed they given the total items also and how much distributed that also given but they ask about that how much children they give in this type of sums we have to do division so let's do division 240 divided by 3 240 divided by 3 see this 2 is smaller than 3 so we have to take 2 digit 24 now in 3 ones are when the 24 comes 3 eggs are 24 4 minus 4 0 2 minus 2 0 okay now this 0 remaining it comes down okay 3 zeros are 0 0 minus 0 0 therefore your answer is 18 now then among how many children are the item distributed they ask now your question is that so your answer is the items are distributed among 80 children among how many children 80 children now see the seventh one i gave six bananas each to six of my friends six bananas to each it means each means one one friends ko six banana diye. Okay. Two six of my friends. And the number of friends are six. I gave six bananas to one friend. And to six of my friend. Vaise kitne friends hai? Six friends hai. And four bananas are left with me. How many bananas did I have? 
first of all understood that six friends are there and ek ek friends ko six bananas diye so six multiplied by six is equal to thirty six bananas and after giving six bananas to each friend to six friends how many left four bananas are left okay and four bananas left so thirty six plus this four left bananas plus four thirty six plus four how much forty bananas and they asked to how many bananas did i have to vaise kitne bananas mere paas ho gaye to maine six bananas ek 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 friends ko six bananas vaise six friends ko maine six six bananas diye and four bananas left with me so how many how many bananas did i have so forty bananas this thirty six plus four forty okay i have forty bananas now see your last sum eighth one rita went to kankaria with her kakaria sorry rita went to kakaria with her younger brother rahul mother father grandfather and grandmother see here rita younger brother rahul okay mother father grandfather grandmother how many persons are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so how many uh, persons are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six persons are there now see the ticket the ticket for ticket fare for the zoo is given below children up to 14 years is equal to rupees 15 Now see up to fourteen year fourteen years me kon kon aayenge ye Rita and younger brother Rahul so two persons of fourteen years adults up to sixty sixty years rupees eighty adults me kon aayega that we have to see now adults above sixty years means sixty years se up is rupees forty now if the age of Rita is fourteen years her See, age of Rita is given fourteen years, and younger brother, younger brother means Rita is shorter. Okay, so here uh, his age also also is a smaller than fourteen years, so its a price is a fifty. Her grandfather, uh, sorry, grandmother is a fifty nine years old. Okay, so up to sixty years, and grandfather is sixty two. means about 60 years then how much amount her family has to pay in total for the tickets now see up to 14 years me kon kon aayega rita and younger brother so two persons up to 60 years mother father and this grandmother 59 so three person three person and up to about 60 years is a grandfather 62 years so one person okay now we have to do calculations this up to 14 years price is 50 so 50 multiplied by this 2 2 multiplied by 50 is equal to rupees 100 now three person okay up to 60 years up to 60 years price is 80 so 3 multiplied by 80 is equal to rupees A three is a twenty four, and so eighty multiplied by three two hundred and forty. Now, see, up to above sixty years is a one person, so forty one person no so forty, so one multiplied by forty is a forty. Now do the additions. This rupees hundred plus rupees two hundred and forty plus rupees forty zero plus zero plus zero zero. Zero plus four, four. Four plus four, eight. One plus two, three. So your answer is three hundred and eighty. It's a rupees three hundred and eighty. So see the questions. How much amount her family has to pay in total for the tickets? So her family has to pay rupees three hundred and eighty for the tickets here. your chapter is completed this one you have to 
write down in the workbook and do practice again and again okay bye stay safe stay healthy bye